The 716 in two minutes, brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers. Good morning, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Aaron Mankowski with your forecast for this Thursday. Temperatures this morning in the upper 60s with mostly sunny skies will be in the low 80s around noontime. Mid 80s this afternoon, partly sunny and warm. Slight chance for a shower across the southern tier. Okay, Aaron, thanks. Good morning to you. I'm Edge Ranch. This is breaking overnight while you were sleeping. Buffalo police now telling us one person was shot and drove himself to Sisters Hospital. It happened just after midnight this morning on West Ferry Street. Police had the area between Shenango and Baines taped off to investigate. Police say the man's injuries do not appear to be life-threatening. A Wyoming County man has pleaded guilty to the attempted murder of Wyoming County Sheriff Greg Rudolph. Lynn Michael Hall attacked Rudolph and threatened to kill him back in December 2018. Sheriff Rudolph was not hurt. Hall faces up to 25 years in prison. Governor Cuomo signed an executive order making Juneteenth a paid holiday for state workers. He also promised to propose legislation to make it a state holiday for next year. This year's celebration in Buffalo, the largest in the country, went virtual because of COVID-19. And that's the 716 in two minutes. Thanks for being with us on this Thursday. The next update is available later this afternoon and always on WKBW.com. Have a great day. The 716 in two minutes, brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers.